Stop for a quick tinkle break at a little town called Mossman, about an hour north of Cairns on the Captain Cook Highway. You know you're in Queensland, guys, and you know it's getting close to Christmas when you see mango trees like this. Have a look at it. This one is loaded. They're not ready to eat yet. They're, they're still growing. They're only small. There must be thousands on that tree, Lauren. Have a look at them all. It's incredible. It's just growing wild here in the park. When they get nice and big, people will come down, pick them off and take them home and eat them. All right, let's get going. Next stop, the Dane Tree. Well, we've just come for a little drive into the little village of the Dane Tree, guys, and we'll show you the shops in that soon, but just thought I'd show you the Dane Tree River. This is the river you drive across to start the famous Kreb track, guys, if you ever do four-wheel driving. Do the Kreb track, and basically you go over the other side of the river there and drive out about 10, 15 k and that's the start of the Kreb track and you actually got to drive a, across the Dane tree to start the Kreb, a lot, lot shallower than it is here obviously. Beautiful day. Don't fall in Buzzy, you mightn't get back out. <laughs> minus apart. So this river here, the Dane Tree, guys, there's been a couple of fatalities in here, the croc attacks. One a young kid and a lady back in the 80s got taken. Yeah. 
And as you can see here, there's uh, a lot of little tours. You can go in these nice big boats and they go up the Dane Tree and you can do crocodile uh, tours. You're pretty well guaranteed to see the crocs, apparently, when you go on the tours. Hey, we're not doing it today, guys, but just to let you know, if you want to do the, the famous Kreb track, Cairns Regional Electri Electricity Board track, one of the best four-wheel drive tracks in Australia, it's open at the moment because we're in the middle of the dry season, treacherous in the wet, really treacherous in the wet. But you come into the, the village of the Dane Tree and you come across the bridge and you go out about 10k here, you cross the Dane Tree River, you actually drive across it and that's the start of the Kreb track. So if you're ever up this way and you're, you're on a four wheel drive adventure and the Kreb track's open, get out and do it guys, it's a beautiful drive. Quite challenging at times, but it goes through a beautiful rainforest and it's spectacular. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know about it, eh? Beauty. On the Daintree Ferry, guys, 30 bucks return to get up the Cape Tribulation. Caution, ferry. No shit, I'm on it. Right, if you haven't guessed guys, we're on the Daintree Ferry. To get up the Cape Tribulation, you've got to get the ferry to get across the, uh, the Daintree River, unless you've got a submarine. 30 bucks return it is, just if you're wondering, which isn't too bad. And that river there, as I said before, you do not swim in it. You don't swim in any rivers up here in North Queensland actually. Well, here we are again, guys. Last time I was here was when I did the tag along tour in August after the drifter camp. Bought a group of people here and low tide at the moment. Doesn't look as nice at low tide. This is actually Cape Tribulation Beach. Water looks beautiful today, nice and green, blue, whatever it is. That's actually Cape Tribulation there and you'll probably see some drone footage at the start of the, start of the clip, guys. I'll put the drone up. And that's actually Cape Tribulation, my old beach on the other side. But we're gonna get back in the car now and we're gonna head down and check out Thornton Beach, which is another beautiful beach along here, Cape Tribulation. And as I said, you bring your camp chairs and that if you're ever up around here. Plenty of shade up off the beach. You set your camp chairs and your esky and that up in those shady spots, guys. And you spend the whole day at some of these beaches. Absolutely beautiful. Come down here late in the afternoon, the kids can just run for miles. Well, this is my favourite beach, Cape Trib guys, Thornton Beach. And I can never remember the name of that island there. You walk for miles along this one. How's that? Absolutely beautiful. Well, here we are again, Rex Lookout, north of Cairns. Looking down to, in the distance there, Double Island. I do um, hang gliding off here. It's pretty high up. Beautiful view. Hello right, guys, well, we've made it to Cairns. Been up to the Dane Tree and Cape Trib for the day. Absolutely beautiful day, beautiful weather. Quite warm during the middle of the day, but just perfect this time of the year. How's that for a view behind me, guys? We're on the 14th floor of some building. I can't remember the name, but we booked it in a while ago. Two bedroom apartment, 
bloody really good. Have a look at that. That's Trinity Inlet, they call that, with all the yachts and that down there. We've got Yarra Bar will be over the, the back there. Looking out there, now I can see Green, green Island in the distance. And um, you wouldn't believe it. it, was a strategic move. Look what's just down there. Hemingway's Brewery. <laughs> it's a quick stagger across the car park and we're there. A mate of mine went there the other day, Hemingway's Brewery. And it's like one of those boutiques that do all their own um, beers and all that type of stuff. You can do, do all the taste testing and that. And they put a good feed on down there too, I've been told. So we're gonna go there for dinner tonight, sample a few beers. But I'll tell you what we might do, sneak to a bottle o get a bottle of wine, and take in this view. How good's that? North Queensland at its best, guys, you beauty. Have a look at that. I'll tell you what, I'm not keen on this bloody. <laughs> I'm a bit scared of heights. And I'll tell you what, I get a bit wobbly in the knees when I look over the edge there, 14 stories up. Right, uh, let's go and get a bottle of wine, Lozza, and we'll bloody sit down and enjoy it on the balcony, eh? Rightio, here we are, having a wine at the end of a great day. How do you enjoy the day, Loz? Good? Dad. <laughs> Lauren said, Dad, don't you get me on camera. Or single me out. Yeah. Hope that comes up all right. There's something you can do, guys. The Spirit of Cairns Catamarine. Have a sail up Trinity Inlet and have a beautiful meal on that catamaran there and uh, a few cocktails and that. What a great way to spend the night that is. And we're going to go over to Hemingway's, Hemingway's Brewery for dinner a bit later on. It's the cruise terminal there where we left on the P&O cruise a couple of years ago. That's Trinity Inlet up there, you can see. Fantastic. Not a bad way to start in the morning, guys. Come out in the balcony, have a cup of coffee and there's a cruise ship coming in. The Mars Dam. Never seen that one before. Not too bad. Gonna pull up down there on the other side of Hemingway's Brewery. And I guess everyone's gonna get off there and have a walk around Cairns for the day and one of their shore stops. Just seen one of the flags there, the Aussie flag flying, but up there they looks like the Dutch flag guys. Might be a Dutch ship. Holland America is the cruise line company. Holland America and the Mars Dam. Sounds like a Dutch name, doesn't it? And they're flying the Dutch flag. Put two and two together. I should have been a rocket scientist. Here we go, guys. Ros just um, Google the Mars Dam. Car, maiden voyage, 1993, number of decks 10, number of crew 557, passenger capacity 1266. There you go. Bit smaller than the P&O one that we went on. Right, oh, here we go. Just waiting to kill a bit of time before the boat leaves to go out to the Barrier Reef today. This is the Cairns Esplanade, guys. A lot of cafes, coffee shops, restaurants and that all along the, the Esplanade. Boardwalk, so you can go for a jog or a walk all the way along the boardwalk. That building down there is that circle one, Cairns' Keynes's highest bar. There's a bar up the top there, still haven't been there yet. The old Cairns Eye or something they call it, the Ferris Wheel. Looks good at night. Plenty of accommodation in Cairns, guys. No high rises, they're only, you know, 12, 15 storeys high. Nothing, nothing like the Gold Coast, the big high rises down there, which I think is a good thing. You know, not having those massive high buildings everywhere. And the Cairns Lagoon, which is closed at the moment. They're doing a bit of a clean up and maintenance on it, but Normally opens 10 o'clock in the morning for all the kids and that, and nice safe place for everyone to swim, especially in the stinger season. And no crocodiles in there, which is good. All right, time to go and round a coffee up and we'll go over to the pier and we'll wait for our boat to leave.
out to the Barrier Reef. Should be a fantastic day. Can't wait. Right, so here we are heading down to the, there's the big ship that come in this morning. Down at the, the wharf. All the big boats that go over to Green Island, Fitzroy Island. Some beautiful boats. About 8.30 in the morning, guys, most of your, your trips all head off. We're right down the end here. Should be good. Not bad boats, are they, guys? <laughs> Imagine the juice they chew. Sun Lava Reef Cruises. I think ours is right down here on the right hand side, the last one. Sun Lava Reef Cruise. That's ours. There she is. That's our boat. We're going out the reef on today. Sun Lover Reef Cruises.